time for a lot of us to do our holiday shopping. It is indeed. With the surge in shopping also comes a surge in scammers looking for an easy target. WGN's Ray Cortapassi has more from the Better Business Bureau on how to avoid becoming the next victim. This is my 34th year at the Better Business wow. Bureau. I have never seen it so bad right now. They are coming with everything at people. Steve Burnus, the BBB's president and CEO, isn't talking about the crowds at the mall or the pop-up ads online, but he is talking shopping and thieves who are scoring their own deals. Every day is a new twist to a different scam, so that's why the consumers need to be educated. Scammers know there's a pent-up demand emerging from the pandemic. The National Retail Federation predicts holiday sales could grow as much as 10.5% over last year to $850 billion. A big chunk of that purchased online, which is convenient but poses risks. Online fraud was the number one complaint to the Better Business Bureau in 2020. If you want to protect yourself, look closely at the URL. Here's a big don't. Don't follow a link. Go directly to the site itself. You know, go through Google and somebody else. Don't, you know, follow a link because it's really zero trust with those links. A lot of the scams are on the Facebook, you know, those other social media sites where those ads pop up because mm -hmm. they watch you. They know the big brother. They know what you're looking at. A do? is look for the online retailer's information before making a purchase. Make sure they have a phone number, a physical address somewhere, that they answer the phone lines as well, because again, as I mentioned earlier, you can't tell the difference between a scam website or a real website. Sometimes a big clue can be a price you know in your heart of hearts is too good to be true. That goes for all kinds of shopping. Obviously, knowing the price of the product you're going out to buy, everybody has these doorbuster sales, whether it be online or offline. Guess what? On the next week, we get complaints at the Better Business Bureau from consumers who say, that it wasn't a door buster. It wasn't the cheapest I could have gotten. Bottom line, to avoid overpaying or getting something you didn't really want, Steve says, prepare. Do the education up front. Know your prices. Track the prices. Just don't go out to a store and say, say door busters and believe them without having some research because those door buster sales are to get you in the store. And guess what? They, oh, we don't have that anymore, but right. we have a whole selection there. So that's where consumers fall into the trap. And if you're at a loss, you can try this trusted website, BBB. Org. It's so simple. There's so much information out there. Check with the Better Business Bureau. We can find businesses you can trust on our site, and you can find the bad actors as well. Ray Cortapassi, WGN News.